Hello everybody, welcome back to another Batania tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be having a look at these things below me right here, these force relays. Now, what force relays are is you can think of them as a connection between two blocks, completely wirelessly. Now, there's a few different things you need to know about force relays and a few different things they can do. They kind of have quite a few rules behind them for just a normal block, but we'll go through them, we'll fix up any trouble you have, and if anything, this tutorial is probably going to help you if you've had trouble with any of my other builds, because Force relays are generally the start of where people tend to make mistakes and then their farms don't work, so let's get to it. Now we'll start with the very basics of force relays. Now keep in mind that force relays can do two separate things. They can move blocks and they can connect blocks. Now you'll see what I mean about saying they can connect blocks further on in this episode, but for now just think of them as we are going to be doing moving blocks. So the first thing to do with the force relay, and this applies for all of the things you'll do with the force relay, is to right click with the Wand of the Forest on the Force Relay. You can hear that little click, and what that does is that means we've selected the Force Relay. You then have to right click with your Wand of the Forest on the, the block you want to connect it to, so we'll right click on there, and make sure you hear that noise. If you aren't too sure, you can always right click again and connect it like that, and you'll be sure that they are connected. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll take a piston, and as I said, we can move these blocks, and we'll move these blocks just like we move normal blocks in Minecraft with pistons. So we'll just power this piston like that. And you can see that that block has just moved when we've moved the force relay. So you can kind of power everything wirelessly and have a block just floating around doing some crazy things. Now the next thing we can do is we can have a look at what happens when you use a sticky piston. So here we've got a sticky piston at the bottom here. We'll right click on that. Right click on that block. Now we've got both of these connected and we'll see what happens when we move with the sticky piston. Absolutely nothing. Now the reason for that is that sticky pistons don't work on force relays, simple as that. So they don't work for pushing or for pulling. Now the next thing is that force relays really are only for pushing. You can't actually get a piston to pull as I said there. So you're going to have to do something sneaky like this if you want a block to go one way and then the other. So this one over here is already connected so we'll do this. And you can see that block goes up. Then you'll have to take away this piston and this piston over here can push it back down. Now the reason we'll have to take that away is if we did that, the force relay pops out. So one thing to keep in mind is the force relay currently is gone, but it was on this block here when it was last registered. So when we do this, like this, you can see, sorry, it was on that block there, so we'll do this, and you can see it's still connected. So we can just keep doing that, and that, and it's back on track. So. <laughs> Um, another thing, if you did have one to just move a block one way and not the other way, you could use a sticky piston using the same mechanics that we have there, but actually to our, our advantage, we could do this for instance. So nothing happened, the block went back down, but we can move the block up again. Now we'll do the same thing again, block goes down, but that block doesn't move, move back up again. And you can continue doing this the whole way if you really wanted to, so like that, and you can just keep that block going higher. Now this works in all directions, so we've got some pistons in pretty much every direction. We'll just power this, and like that, <laughs> all of these blocks move out. So that's pretty much the basics of moving blocks around. Now you can do quite a few things with this, and it comes in really important for more trickier builds. But really, for now, just think of this as the basic things and see how far you can take this. Something else to be sure of is breaking force relays. Make sure you don't use a pickaxe or anything else to break them. You'll see what happens when you do use that. It gives you a bit of a warning, but if you go through it, you don't get the block back. If you want to actually remove one of these, all you have to do is shift, right click, and it comes off just like that. Okay, let's go over the next part of force relays. Now this part was the part that I spoke about earlier where I said we connect force relays instead of the pushing one. If you see what I mean here, this over here is a force relay, as we know. We right click on that, right click on this block, just like before, but right around here, we'll just take that off for demonstration purposes, we've got a mana spreader. Now this is a redstone mana spreader or pulse mana spreader, and that's going to shoot a mana burst into there when I push this button. So you see this, we'll put this on here so we can see it the whole way. That mana burst only gets to the, po the force relay and then stops, just like that. Now what we'll need is a warp lens, so we'll put that warp lens on there and now we'll press this button. And you can see that because we connected this force relay to this block over here, it's actually moving to that block there. Now this may look like it's actually going through, so we'll just do this over here, 
and we'll demonstrate two things here. So we can demonstrate here that two blocks can actually be, two force relays can be connected to one block. So that one there is still connected like that. You can see it's still going there. And this one over here, which is now connected, and does that, yeah, that does have a warp lens on it, also works. So you can see that that over there connects to that there. And this little red line that goes across, that's just saying which force relay is connected to which block. So it's actually not the mana moving, it's just the kind of connection, like that. Now, that's not really too useful, just having a warp lens there, because all you're doing is you're setting mana into a block and then it's getting wasted. So one thing I could do to demonstrate this a bit better is we'll make ourselves a composite lens. Now, this one I think is probably the biggest problem that people have with my farms, and in general with Britannia, with lenses at least, is making composite lenses. So... What I've got in here is I've got the slime ball, I've got a mana lens, which is a phantom mana lens, and then I've got a warp mana lens. So the warp lens, whenever you do one of these, always make sure the warp lens is at the bottom, regardless of the situation. If you put the warp lens at the top, you'll see what comes out is this phantom warp. It does say it on the name there, but that won't do anything besides being like a warp lens, pretty much. So we'll do it that way. There we've got ourselves our phantom warp lens, and make sure it looks like the phantom lens. Never have it looking like the normal warp lens. That's just, I can't reiterate that enough. So we'll place that on there. Now, what we know about phantom lenses is they allow the burst to go through blocks. So we'll do this now, and that should be connected. You can see that now goes across and out of that block there. So we can do it again, like that. So that's really, really pretty much <laughs> the uh, basis of what's going on here. We can also demonstrate it over here. We should have one on here already. I'll just put this one on there. Now we'll do this, and you can see this is the same setup as what we have over there. But what I'll demonstrate here is that you can actually power this. So, for instance, let's do that. Now that block's moved up, but that block has got the force relay on it. So if we move that force relay, that block would still move. But if we do this here, you can see that this is connected in this block over here. So you can actually put a block there, or you could even just break the block if you really didn't want to move it out the way. But that's just showing that even when you do move the blocks, they don't stay connected. Now, the next thing is I'm going to show, which I'm going to show you, is some cool things you can do. Because really, this is the basics of warp lenses and um, force relays. You can get a bit more creative with this, but these are a few things that I've used them for in the past. And also, there's many things I'd like to do with them in the future. So, there we've got ourselves a tree that's grown over there. We've also got our normal ball lens, but we want this composite ball warp lens. Now, this is the one that I think most... Did I just get rid of that? <laughs> I'll, I'll just make ourselves a new one. Okay, back to where we were. So, I'm gonna make this composite warp, ball warp lens here. Now, this is the one that people always have trouble with, so that's the way it is done. Always have it looking green. Now, we'll put this on this mana spreader over here, and you can see that that's connected into this block here, and we'll connect this force relay down over there. Now, when we push this button, you can see each of these gets broken, just like a ball lens would do. But you don't need the force relay, which means you can actually place this block here and have a mana, mana burst going through there without breaking this block. So you can see, if we do it again, it's connected inside that block, but it ignores that block and then does the block above it. Now we'll go over to another cool thing, which I haven't done, but I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Now this is the Kindle lens on here, so we'll just take that properly this time. You can see what we've got here is a composite Kindle warp lens. So it looks like the Kindle lens, but it's got the warp lens on it just like before. So we'll place this on there. That's facing up into this block here. And this is actually connected to a block right over there. So we'll see it now when I press this. And that's a pretty cool way of changing the, whether you want your um, nether portals on or off. That's very loud. Now what you can also do is it always makes these flames on top, which I'm not too sure why it does that, but you can switch it off like that. And provided it's connected to one of these blocks inside the portal, it should switch off as long as it hits one of the sides. So we'll do that again. Now before we go, I want to show you something that I think is pretty cool. If you have a look here, we've got ourselves our normal mana blaster and we've put a warp lens on it. When you shoot one of these force relays that are connected to a block, you can see that it goes in the direction you've hit. So it'll always go in the direction that the burst is coming. And you can do that. That. You can even go up and it'll just shoot out exactly how it came into this block here. So that's pretty much Force Relays in a nutshell. I hope they do help you 
If they did, please let me know because I enjoy it when these do help. And if you've got any questions or you've got any suggestions, leave them down in the comment section. But thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you next time.